Hello guys and welcome back to another uh, tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a follow-up on the growable saplings. Um, right now I only have a oak template. Uh, this will um, probably remain for the time being uh, for a little bit. I don't have a lot of time to actually um, work on projects like this, uh, like updating the thing, but I will add uh, different models in the future. Uh, however, I just wanted to do a follow-up on the actual progress. I ended up having to remake the entire tree again um, in order to um, basically <laughs> make this workspace happen again. So uh, the workspace will be provided in the zip file as well as the textures that I've used and uh, the procedure that is um, for the growable sapling as well. So uh, let's hop over to the website. I have something just to talk about for there for a second. So on the website, if you go to M Creator and then you click on tutorials, there's a new tutorial page here. I've updated this um, to display uh, maintain tutorials that I'll be providing workspaces and maintaining them as well. Um, right now I only have two or one image to actually display, but it will be different. Uh, if you go to Growable Saplings, you will have to be a member in order to actually view these pages. But it will have the tutorial uh, shown on this part, as well as the copyrights for uh, the, basically the files in the zip. Uh, an advertisement spot is uh, provided as well, so if you have like a server or something like that, uh, any tutorial or page like this, as well as new news articles, I'm starting to implement these advertisements as well. They have a link, and um, it's just something that will help gain revenue overall. Uh, there's a description of the thing, as well as the Minecraft version or M Creator version that it uh, supports. So this is it's made in 1.8.3, so it should be supported for uh, that version and up. Uh, the change log and downloads can be found down below. Uh, you can download by clicking on this when it's all set up. And uh, the video tutorial will be there. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, it tells you also what M Creator version in the change log uh, that it supports, what Minecraft version it's for, as well as what version the actual uh, project, uh, the script's for. So um, overall, uh, that's basically everything that there is. The reason why I have it uh, members only is because I don't want people basically re-uploading the, uh, the zips and basically copywriting all the material and work and claiming it as their own. Um, I don't mind if you use the procedures and um, okay for the most part if you use the textures. The workspaces are mainly for uh, learning how to do things, uh, for example like um, basically learning how to set up the code, play around with it. It's easy just to import a workspace, play around with it, change some settings, test it. It's also good for testing to see if it still works in a future version. Uh, so if 1.8.4 uh, comes out and you're not sure if it doesn't work or not, you can just use that workspace, test to see if it works and make sure it's compatible and configure it your mod or whatever to make it work. Um, outside of that, uh, let's hop into M Creator and uh, we'll take a look at how everything is set up. So I have a couple blocks uh, in the workspace. I have a basic log block, I have the leaf block, and I have a sapling. The sapling's all set up. Um, it's not too hard to actually uh, set up the sapling. You just uh, open up, create an update tick and then you go import, and then you summon the, uh, or upload, or not upload, you import the procedure that is provided in the zip, and then you'll have something like this. So I'm not gonna go over too much uh, when it comes down to everything. All you need to know is the condition. Let's see if I can't get a good view. So each one of these things here is basically testing for a block where the, the tree is going to be growing and uh, 
they're broken up into layers so every column is uh, a different layer of the tree i try to keep it so it's easy to follow along that way so this is level one as you can see that so it's one block above where the sapling is this is level two and level three and so on so basically all this is doing is testing for error um, where the block it's going to be placing is if it's true all if all of this is true then it's going to place all the blocks so that's basically that how the tree procedure works it's pretty straightforward um, it's not too complicated we're just gonna scroll all the way back over here and just minimize that so uh, expand and collapse. So this is where the heart of the project actually works. Um, I've organized it in such a way that you can just easily update these um, vanilla blocks and you know what ones are leaves, you know what ones are um, the actual uh, logs as well. So all these ones down here are leaves. These are all the coordinates that it will spawn the tree at. These are all the things that are being tested for as well. So the logs, um, to update the textures, first thing you need to do is have your log in place. So you have to create your block. So this is why we have the log block in, installed. You have to have the leaf installed or pre-made. And if we go over here, we'll just minimize that again, collapse. We'll just update the block for the logs to our mod logs. And then we're going to update all the leaves as well. And what's going, what's, this is going to do is it's basically going to summon our our blocks or your mod blocks rather than a, an oak tree uh, sapling basically. So now we're going to go into leaves now so we're just going to do this and we're going to do that all the way through to the bottom until there's no more vanilla blocks to update and I'll see you after. Alright so we got all that done. Um, now basically what this is doing right here is it's delaying and randomizing the growth of the tree. Uh, if it's still too fast, uh, you can lower the number to like zero or 0 0.001, or you can add an extra decimal and do like nine, eight, and whatever value you want. We're just gonna keep it at five for the tutorial's sake. But uh, lowering the number will make the tree grow long or take longer to grow. So. Uh, that's how the randomizer basically works up here. Um, so we've added our custom blocks, uh, updated those as well as all our leaves. Uh, once you've done this, uh, you can uh, just click next and um, basically test it. So that's all good. Uh, make sure the procedure is on update tick. And um, that's basically all there needs to be done. Um, you have your block, you have your, uh, your leaves, you have your sapling that you're gonna be growing it from. Uh, you might want to configure the sapling a little bit better to, um, for instance, uh, be so you can walk through it. Uh, I think I have it on cutout. I have it just on the regular cross X model and you can walk through the block. I have it set to plant. However, I have set it to fire because fire uh, will drop the item very similar how plants will be dropped uh, if you put water on them or crops or whatever. Generally, you want to use fire for that particular thing. Uh, this would generally be under decorations. So we're going to put that under there. Axe is fine. Zero, zero is fine and uh, you don't need any inventories or anything like that. So that's everything you need to do. Uh, leaves are translucent and this needs to be checked. Uh, they don't need a rotation or a custom block model. 
Uh, these are the settings for the hardness and resistance. They're also under the decorations tab. They're uh, plants as well as plants. I have it to drop air. Uh, you want to configure your leaves to also have a chance to produce a sapling. Uh, you can use a randomizer and a um, NBT variable system to um, basically uh, synchronize all across. Um, I'll do a tutorial on that next week, but uh, that's a little more advanced. Uh, also, you want to have it affected by Silk Touch because in Minecraft Vanilla, if you have Silk Touch enabled, you harvest a leaf or whatever, then it will um, also drop the leaf. Uh, I think that's how shears work. I'm not entirely sure, um, but it, using Silk Touch will work that way, that same way. So and no particles, no procedures, unless you add your percentage for dropping. And the block is uh, solid. I've used um, rotation on player side and for all sides. And I've also added the same uh, hardness and uh, resistance, so those are the settings for that. It should be under the blocks tab. It should be under wood, wood, uh, zero. It should drop itself. It isn't affected by silk touch and it needs um, to be chopped down with an axe. So no procedures, no inventory, and no particles. And it doesn't spawn naturally in the world, so that's all good. Uh, so let's hop in game now, and then we'll take a look at the how the tree works, how it um, works like that. I'll link to the video below of how I basically explained the the whole system of this per procedure type, but it's I've already covered it, so I'll just link to the video below. Uh, basically, it's just replacing the error. It's testing for error. If there's error there, then it's replacing it, but all of the conditions have to be the same, uh, or basically um, true. And if it's not true, then it won't spawn the tree. So that's as simple as I can put it in a short period of time. So let's hop in game then. All right, so we're in game, and if we scroll down to the bottom, we'll have our alien sapling. Uh, this is just the sapling that I've used for the tutorial. We can place it down like a regular sapling. Place a few of them down. And we'll just um, let them do their thing. Now, basically what happens, we'll also put one over here just for example, because this should be in the way. Um, now basically what will happen is uh, when you place it, it will... Now, well, there's prone to be some bugs. I've noticed that if you place one, um, you can actually destroy the block underneath it. And saplings aren't like that, so you'd need a separate procedure for that. Um, but the... Uh, okay, so there we go. So that's basically what happens. It might be a little bit too soon, honestly but uh, you can just adjust the, uh, what do you call it, the, the procedure randomizer and lower the number if you want to. Um, try 0 0.001 and if that's still too fast then lower it to uh, 0 0.0005. So lower it to three zeros before the five and that should speed or slow down the procedure as well. So just keep lowering it until you get something that you, you like. Uh, it does look like there is leaf texture missing here, so I'll have to check the code and see if I messed up. I don't think I did. So let's uh, go take a look at that procedure. There's probably a thing at the bottom. Okay, I'll take a look at the, the code and um, 
fix up because I'm obviously missing a block placement here. So I'll before I uh, upload it to the internet and stuff like that to my Mediafire account, I'll make sure that this is fixed and uh, it should be uh, fixed in the released version. But outside of that, that's basically how the um, saplings grow and stuff like that. You can play around with the leaves, you can actually make leaves drop apples or whatever you want and it would be pretty cool. It opens a lot more doors to actually creating uh, mods and stuff like that and uh, it'll be good for um, other purposes like uh, wood and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed uh, today's tutorial. Definitely sign up to my website for the workspace and procedure as well as the zip and textures and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.